Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Julie and it's quite snowy here in the south northeast of um, Kent. So that's where I am. Um, I'm going to show you um, these two I've already made. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do those ones. I'm not going to show you how to do this one. Um, and if you've been on social media you would have seen that one. Um, so here is the handbags. Um, they're like, um, what do they call them? Luxury clutch bag. Special petals. But I haven't used the detail one on this one. Um, so that's that one. And then this is this one. It's luxury clutch bag trellis of hearts. And it, you can see the little hearts. I didn't realise they were hearts. But um, if you when I see it on um, the TV um, I didn't realise they were hearts and it's not until you get it up close which way's the camera? there we go it's not until you see it up close that you realise there is hearts there and this one I haven't played with yet but that is for a reason and the easiest way to get into these is get a pair of scissors and just snip Snip this top piece off. And with arthritic fingers, not good, but I can manage. There, see, that's all you've got to do. It's no good um, trying to stretch yourself out. Oh, that's quite a nice one too, isn't it? So, but like I say, I haven't used this one yet, so... Um, and as, as with usual, nail tonic put everything in for you so you, all the instructions are in there and they're really easy to do these bags. Let's put that in there. Get over. Got myself surrounded by handbags and by cold weather snow. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these then. So um, this is the um, main die and you cut two of those out I'll show you in a minute and then you've got um, your little mat and layers and your detail dies and to go all the way up the side of them that's your handle um, this is your findings bit this is the little bit to make up into a little slider um, and that is your <laughs> the piece for closure. Yes, it your closure piece. Couldn't think what it was then. Oh dear, I'm a lady of a certain age, you know, and your memory starts going. Oh, terrible. Right. Oh, and instructions inside. Is it, I hope that's going all right because it seems a bit um, slow this computer today. I don't know whether I'll see how it goes. It's my hand. <laughs> right. So you do need two, and with one of them you need to put in a hole. That's what I didn't show you as well, did I? So you need to put in a hole like that. Um, let me see, because that bit's quite important as well. So when you have the main die, um, one part has got like a little rounded edge and one part's got like a half a square and this kit, this one, will line up in the middle of those two there like that can you see so that's how you get that shape so you need to put that in like that and you can't go wrong because those are, you can't go wrong she says and she puts it the wrong way they line up with each other okay and also 
you won't need two top pieces let's put those back on there so I don't lose them excuse me you won't need two top pieces so it does say which I've already done didn't realize I've done it I'll put tape on there to you cut that piece away all right so you're left with that so that's going to be your front and decide which one you want to be at the front because you're going to I like mine to come like that so the fold is that way instead of the fold being at the back so you'll have a nice finish on the front so that's what we're going to do on I want to glue those two handles together now to get a nice finish on the handles you I don't know whether it says cut two or just cut one what does it say it says cut one but to get a nice finish I cut two because I because I'm using the black uh, glossy card I thought it would look nicer if it was um, the same either side um, so that's what I've done so I cut two see what I'm doing now. So uh, I'm going to glue these together now before I start doing the other bit. And I've put um, red liner tape on as well on the actual bag. There. Do you know, I don't know whether to stop this or not. Really. We're just going to line up the two and if there is a white edge showing I went round with a um, alcohol marker see you can which way that way see I can see a white edge but I don't think you can see one but I went round it with a black marker so you can't see it's still on top it's all I've got a black marker and just went um, around there like that so you eyed up any um, whiteness that you might have because I wanted it to look black all the way around let's just do and caught it there a little. That's it, that's all you do. And then once that's dry you can um, mill it, bend it a little bit, I wouldn't say that word, <laughs> but I don't think it was going to come out right. Um, and you will need um, four brads as well to finish off from out your stash. Right, let's glue these together. Make sure I've got this the right way round. Yeah, I want that one like that. Let's get rid of um, my scissors that one. Right. So you're just going to place um, basically one on top of the other. What have I done here? And bend your score lines before you start doing this as well. Like that. Just bend it up so you make sure you've got it. Oh, I can't see now. That's it. Make sure they all come up. There you go. That's them. And the other thing to do before you um, start putting the size together is turn it over, have a look, see whether you've got any glue, which I have, seeping out. Just get rid of that. And I've got one to put on there, which we'll do now. Just 
just want to poke it up. It's my dozer. Yeah, put your um, de um, any metal layers on first because you'll find it harder to put on when it's all um, put together. Oh, lordy. Come on. I, I've done this on the original one as well because um, I wasn't sure um, if the glue would go through the um, stick on. I suppose it would. Um, but I didn't try it. It would take longer to dry, wouldn't it? Because it's going onto a, a glossy cardstock. All I'm doing is just taking the backing off, boring really, isn't it? And on the other one, I used um, mirror card for the finding pieces. Um, but this one, I forgot I had it. I've used um, craft metal, which is again from uh, Tonic Studios, and I've doubled it up. So I've cut out like um, four pieces. Um, that bit, these bits have got to go on this side like that. But I didn't want to take, I didn't want to put too much decoration on because I, I thought the, the um, black glossiness of the card would look better, if, you know, if you didn't go over the top with all the black glitter. I wanted to keep some of the black gloss. Children outside playing in the snow. <laughs> we haven't had a lot, mind you, just enough to cover the grass. But because um, it had been raining most of the night before, um, so it's not laid on the roads or anything, it's just laid on grass. It's a shame really. <laughs> I expect they were all willing for it to snow really hard. But I took the dog out this morning early and it was really, really cold. I don't think I'll be doing that tomorrow. Needless to say, we didn't go very far. I, th I think this is probably difficult for to you to see because it's like black on black, isn't it? Oh, you can see. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. I do, I do like to use wet glue. Let's just see um, if we can get this other one lined up. That's it, that's more or less, isn't it? Right. I think what I done what I done was is um done the back bit and then done the front bit because when um I practiced on I practiced on a pink one because um, I made a pink one and um, I drew around the inside of the base stripe and I made a, another pocket to go um, on the back of it. So 
that's all you're doing now is just um, gluing your putting on your glue tab um, putting your glue tabs in just bend it round and bring it up Gonna bend up like a little bit. I don't take all of them off. I only take like two off from each, one from each side. Once you've done one, you know where you're going, don't you? And then this one will come over there like that. Right. Those ones with that little six piece those little um, that die there it cuts out six little um, circles and you glue those up and you you get that so I cut those out in um, plain card because you're not going to see that so um, so that's what I've done cut it out one in glitter because it's going to go on the front, one in plank because it's going to go on the inside and I'm going to glue that onto there next, give it time to set. position my flower so it's like that and I um, get it so it's in right um, in the center so you've got up um, top and bottom and um, two sides and I try and get it into the center of there and then I match this one up to go on to there like that and then also I don't know if this is going to work because that's going to go on to glitter as well and it's foil so we'll see because the other one I done um, like I said I done card I suppose I should have tried it If it won't, um, I'll put tape on. I'll leave it for a minute. Um, now this one, I like to um, 
take it over the end of my um, perky tool and just um, shape it around there. And then I'll just give it a little, a little bend like that. Let's take that off for a moment. These have got like a little crease in the middle, so you're just going to bend those in half. And all, trust me, can't find it now. It's gone on the floor. I'll tell you what, we will not use foil. Um, So I'm just cutting this down to um, two and a half. And with this, I always bring my cutter up to the top, slide down. And then once it gets blunt on that one, I will turn it around and do the same. I never go up and down, up and down with it. little machine I've done that because I know it's um, two and a half inches wide mind you I've been noticing like some people um, I've been saying that the little um, machines are, are not working anymore. <laughs> that one I can handle, especially if it's only like little dies. That's what I end up doing. I end up. Um, because my fingers don't work so well, I end up dropping things on the floor. Then spend half of my time trying to find them. Them bits went on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to poke out. A bit there. Sorry about this. See if we can uh, 
do this without dropping one. I don't want those bits. Mind you, those look, bits look like something you could use. I don't know. <laughs> Us crafters are terrible, aren't we? We look at things and say, oh, yes, they might be coming handy. Sometimes, like the um, bits that you come out, the waste is quite nice and you can use it for um, decoration sometimes. I'll have a look, see if that other one's dry in a minute. So, I've, because it's white on one side and gold on the other, that's why I've made them um, two. I've cut out like two for each side. Right, so that's all you do for those. I wonder if that other one has glued. No. It was sticking until I pulled it. We'll see. Oh, no, we won't see. <laughs> This might not stick on there now either. Don't do that then ladies and gents. Find something different. Find your gold mirror card. It's just, um, I did try to see whether that would work. It, po it probably would if you used this I should imagine. I thought it would be nice just to have scissors I look a bit gunky. This, um, and I would I would glue that because um people are gonna be sh um, moving this up and down because it's a slider. Right. Oh yeah. I need to put that onto there, don't I as well? That's no, that's that's flimsy, isn't it? Because that other one doesn't do that. No, I don't like that now. So what we what am I doing? I haven't got a clue what I'm doing really, look. <laughs> oh. Right, there we go. Are you going to um, then put... No you're not, you're going to... Have I done this right? <laughs> Where's the other one? Yes, I have done it right. Yeah, this is what you do first. <laughs> oh lordy, excuse me. I'll put that one through there, pop that onto there. After all this missing that, I'm making it look harder than what it really is. Put those ones onto there. 
Sorry. And if your um, brads are a little bit bigger, I've got I've got glue on there somehow as well. How did I manage that? Oh. Um, I usually snip those little legs off. But be careful because you're leaving a sharp edge so I'll um, file it down a little bit um, so the next thing is is to no because my hands are because um, my hands um, are quite swollen across my knuckles across there I'm going to put this in so um, the handle doesn't get in the way otherwise I'm going to end up whipping it or something so I'll get that so um, one of the little petals is facing downwards so I know I'll put some glue on here and then I can line it up with the other one like that I just hold it for a minute or two just to get that to set. Now on the back of the glitter card is white and it hasn't got no glitter on it's not double sided or anything so it will um, set on today you know you haven't got to worry about it not setting. Now all you've got to do is put your brads through this one In the descriptions um, thing, I will put down um, the cardstock used in that. So if you do want to make this one, I'll put um, that all down for you to find. This is where I find things difficult. just me my fingers they're not agile <laughs> mind you if, if I didn't do this though I think they would be even worse than what they are if I didn't craft And if you put the um, tail so they go across the box and um, instead of downwards, um, they will fit a bit better, especially if you've got long, longer ones like mine. Right, so that's going to come up there like that. That's going to come over, and then this little one comes up there like that to close it. There you go. And that's that little black handbag that I've been showing on social media. I hope this video wasn't too long and boring watching me cut out another one. So, But um, I don't know what you think. I think maybe the foil, the um, mirror card looks better than the foil, doesn't it? I think I prefer that now. And that's pro That probably does look odd now because you've got two different foils on one bag. But yeah two little black handbags anyway that's enough from me for today and i'll see you again real soon bye bye for now